All right, so we're back at it. Even stock count between C and Ryan. C's got a little bit of an advantage, about 35%. Oh, that's taken away. That's one Icy's combo. Ryan is taking the lead. C's up to 60% oh, right there. Going for up air juggles. Ooh, bounced just off it with the side B. Good, he reset the situation. Let's see, oh, that's a lot of shield oh. damage right there. Ah. Needs to be about 10 more percent higher for the ice to be worth uh, its combo. Okay. There we go. Oh, we mashed. Just barely misses the up smash there. Oh, finds the forward smash. Pushes Ryan all the way back off stage. Able to recover safely. The one downside is that Ryan can't afford to give up more of his shield right now. That is true. But Palu is not usually known for go to the, going for shield breaks 100% of the time. True. Oh, finds a back throw. That's almost going to be it. But if Nana isn't able to make it back, no. Ooh. Oh, you're good. C is taking quite the capital and throwing out Popo first so that Nana won't be a problem. Exactly. Isolating Nana, therefore limiting Popo's recovery, therefore having an easier time. Oh, there. That's a second drag down near to up tilt. Yeah. Both of the stocks this match have been taken in that manner. Actively oh. going after Popo with that. Separate Nana, get Popo. Climb aboard the Nair train. Oh, only one, though. I mean, my personal rule is uh, two in a row or I don't want friends anymore. Completely understandable. Totally valid point. Finds the, the up air. These up airs are weak percenting, too. Ooh. The ledge trump back air able to take it. Ryan's still in this one. Only 36% on him. That's one Icy's combo right there. Oh, finds the up air. That's going to kill Nana. And we're in SoPo mode. Ooh. Oh, is he? And that and is going to be it. C takes the set 2-0. Oh. With the JV2. Too bad for you. Now, C was really able to manipulate 